this is the chest x-ray PA view and uh, I'm telling you how to count the ribs on the x-ray uh, now you can see that uh, you won't count and you should not count the ribs like this one two three or four five six no we count it from backward to forward it's like this can you see this impression you go this way this is the rib first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh this is the way of counting the ribs just from backward towards the outward this is the first rib second rib third rib you should never and never count like this one two three four by looking at this x-ray i can tell i want to tell you that how can you see how can you see whether the patient is in the left uh, anterior rotation or the right anterior rotation the anterior rotation or the rotation of the patients by taking the x-ray can be just by measuring the distance between the medial end to the clavicle and the lateral part of the that uh, mm, sternum you measure the distance from this part to this part and on the same on another side also so uh, in a normal x-ray where the patient is touching both of the uh, shoulders to the chest plate it, the distance should be equal or in the case of any anterior rotation uh, that uh, the bones um, the shadow overlaps each other so in this case the shadow is overlapping here so this is the right anterior rotation case hi today i will tell you that how to read a normal x-ray and how to remember that i'm telling you one mnemonic remember that it's mnemonic and uh, in the same sequence you have to describe it in your examination the mnemonic is pad in o sonia batra hi the p e d pad i n n o s o for sonia batra b t r a h i the now for p we come part and view now for ed we will describe the exposure and development whether overexposed underexposed in means inspiratory film or expiratory film with o we will describe the orientation of the patient sonia with so we will describe the soft tissue and shadows Batra, take B and TRA, B for bony case, we will describe the bony case, and tra for trachea and mediastinum. Hi is for hilar shadows. Dil, take DI, DI includes means, means diaphragm and the CP angles, and L for lung fields. So, in the 10 points, we will describe an X ray. First of all, we will tell the part and the view. So, part and the view exposure and development, whether inspiratory or the expiratory film, orientation of the patient, soft tissue shadow, the bony case, trachea and the mediastinum, hilar shadows, diaphragm and the costophrenic angles, and the lung fields. Remember now, padding of Sonia with high level. Now, we tell about the part and the view. We will describe that uh, to which part that uh, x-ray belongs and whether it is AP view or the PA view. View view is usually taken in the case of lungs and the heart. AP view is taken to see the posterior lung case. Principle behind this is that whatever the part of your body is closed to the X-ray plate will be clearly visible in your X-ray. So AP is taken to see the posterior lung case and scapula. Inspiration is done to expand the lung fields and to descend the diaphragm. PA view is taken so as to minimize the bony marking. In the PA view, the spine becomes less dense and so as to minimize the shadow of the total bony case. Posterior end of the rib is hard, so clearly visible in the chest x-ray. 
anterior part of the ribs is fragile, so its head is, becomes flat. Now, we're talking about the exposure and the development in a normal exposure, the shadow of vertebral column is faintly visible. Intervertebral spaces are not clearly visible. The shadow of trachea is normally invisible, is usually visible up to the level of clavicle as a translucent shadow. In an overexposure x-ray, the vertebral column along with the intervertebral spaces will be clearly visible. The spine will also be very clearly visible. Translucency of trachea is lower down the level of clavicle, maybe up to the bifurcation of the trachea. Translucency of the lung field will increase and the density of opacity of the heart will reduce and the heart becomes more central and narrow. In the underexposed x-ray, the faint shadow of vertebral column will not be visible at all. Translucency of trachea will not be clearly visible. Translucency of the lung field will also reduce. Opacity of the heart will increase. Now we are telling about the orientation of the patient. As just now you saw in the x-ray, how to differentiate uh, the right anterior rotation from the left anterior rotation. Uh, normally the x-ray should be centrally oriented. While taking the patient, the hand should be folded and hand should be folded and both of the shoulders should touch the plate. Should touch the plate. Just like this way. If any of the shoulder is anteriorly, the overlapping will occur. In the right anterior rotation, only the right shoulder is touching the plate and left is away. We can see it on the x-ray by measuring the distance as I have told you earlier in two. And uh, importance is that uh, in the right anterior rotation, the trachea will be shifted to the left even in there is no pathology. In left anterior rotation, heart appears central. Aortic knuckle and pulmonary corners will not be visible. Tubular appearance will be there. In right anterior rotation, heart appears shifted to be the left or sometimes you will appear as a it will seen as a cardiomegaly the soft tissue shadows calcified lymph nodes sometimes appear more dense than that of bone you can also see the abscess there the bony case while seeing the bony case you look carefully and uh, we can see many things cartilage should not appear below the 25 years of age because uh, is cartilage does not have that much of shadow, but after 24, after 25 years, the cartilage starts ossifying, so clearly visible. You can easily see the clavicle of the fracture of the ribs. Manubrium, sterni, and body of sternum are cancellous bones, so they are not very clearly visible. In the coming video, I will tell you that how to read the media sternum. We will talk about how to detect cardiomegaly on the x-ray. I will show you the x-ray and I will tell you uh, how to calculate it. Um, and we will talk about the highlight shadows, we will talk about the diaphragm, we will talk about the CP angles and we will talk about the lung fields. Thank you.